Thanks for that crunch. He is though. I'm gonna see. Oh my god, the cursed Rick Astley emote. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> she's so she's not home yet and now she's concerned. Okay. Okay. Oh. We're going on a roof. It's one of the reasons why we rented the apartment, remember? Aww. Bumpy. Doing the sounds for this must have been fun. Getting excited about things is so easy when you're 24. Yeah. Do not offer cigarette. We are not smoking in this playthrough. It will get us an achievement. How's life going? Okay, I guess yours? Same. Sometimes I still wonder why it didn't work out with us. Well, you tell me. You tell me. There was a time when I was so sure we were a perfect match. I've asked myself the same a million times. Came up with lots of different answers. Thank you for booping Kokomi's snoot. Thanks, Crunch. We were too young for a kid. I was too focused on my new job. Our place was too small. I wanted to find that one good reason to explain it to myself to make sense of it. But honestly, I think we were just bad at it. We couldn't stop fighting about the same <laughs> the same small bullshit. We kept hurting each other for no reason until we reached a point of no return. That's it. Damn. Okay. Maybe you're right. But that's sad, don't you think? That it yes. I agree. That is sad. Don't worry too much about Laura. I'm sure she's fine. We should be happy for her that she's having a good time at that party. I feel like if we'd said no, maybe she would have snuck out to go anyway. You said yourself that she had some trouble fitting with the other kids. I think about the shit I did when I was her age. That's probably why I worry so much about her. But you turned out okay. I'm sure Laura will too. She's smart. I can barely keep my eyes open. I have to go home now before I fall off this roof. If Laura isn't home in an hour, give me a call, okay? I will. Thanks for swinging by. It was nice to be up here with you again. I'll stay a little longer. You're an angel. I, I was quite well behaved as a child. What a throwback car, it was nice. See you soon. Ah, They had a little, a little, ah, a little moment. Ah. There he go. Wait, I can go down? No, I can only go up. Okay. There's nothing else in here, is there? She's still up there, that's a bit. Where's my house again? Oh, here. Downloading more news. What's the news? Developments of Fanny's murder. Oh yeah, we got this wrong. We got this wrong. It was very bad. Um. I keep trying to read all of this out loud, but I cannot. Two key witnesses, the bodyguards. Yeah, the, the two bodyguards, that was the two key witnesses. The secretary was more of a key witness because she stood there. Okay, the, we, we, we treated them well, apparently. So that goes in my favor. I thought that was my house. Where the fuck is my house? What's down there? Wait, what is down there? Hello. There are food places here. Don't think I've been down here. Oh, that was the that was the restaurant. Okay. Dumpling kitchen. I wanna go there. Veggie buffet, I wanna go there too. I know. There's all these food places. I'm like, give me a food. What is this? Hello? It's like it has sparks on it. Let me touch it. No? Okay. I'm going to take eight. Agree. Always food with this chat. Always food. Nope. I've missed the stairs, uh, stairs every time because you have to go up instead of, like, across. My brain 
Just confused. I met my own tired gaze in the glass. There were so many things on my mind. Laura's disappearance worried me more than I had shown. I thought maybe it had been the wrong call to let her go to that party. In hindsight, it probably wouldn't have mattered. Okay. And then there was Cox. I was curious about his explanation as to why he had opened fire on us. But mostly, I was glad that I hadn't had to shoot him. Non-violent option. Hello to the smart home. Oh, the smart home's fixed. Your visitor is waiting inside. Uh-oh. Is it Laura? Your visitor is ID unknown. That bodes not well at all. Didn't tell you that I was expecting someone. Why did you let them in? I'm sorry, I did not understand the question. What the fuck? What's the point of having a smartphone? A uh, smartphone. Smart home system if they let intruders into your house. Go, yeah, okay. Hey. Okay. It could be more, or it could be Laura. I don't know who that's supposed to be. Is that the AG? No, who is that? He's walking, by the way. That's not me. We don't know who this is, do we? Is it the girl who transforms? Smart bone, yes. <laughs> Tox Crunch just said that must be made by Apple. Well done, everyone. Hi. <laughs> What's up? How are you? How's your Wednesday going? Who are you? You got a nice place up here. I think she must be the woman who had the plastic surgery. Show me your face. Turn around. Lila. No, it's the girl who got a plastic surgery to look like Lila. My face. I don't like it, to be honest. I was right. Wait, it's you. You're the one who assaulted Lila. Yeah. Zora, nice to meet you. Please put your hands up. You're under arrest. I'm here to talk. About what? Put your hands up or I'll be forced to shoot. Nobody's forcing you to do anything. You make your own decisions. <sighs> what do you want? AI-assisted boning. Great. Thank you. I'm sure they're already smart toys, you know? We need a guy in the CDI to help us out with a few things. Who is us and, like, what? And why the fuck would I do that? That's what he said. We have your daughter. I should have lived with that. Great. Excellent. We should have seen that one coming. Okay. It goes well enough. Could always do with more hugs. Ah, oh, talks. Hugs. I think we have hug command, not hugs command. I think. Okay, so she's taken the daughter. Excellent. You fucking what? Look at Chansey boning and hugs. Well, yeah. We took your daughter, Laura. Nope. You're full of shit. He doesn't believe her? Interesting. Okay. You can ask your ex. She's not at home. Where is she? She's safe with us. You work for the Liberators, right? I have a record of your conversation with the man who shot Banny. Is stealing little girls really how they're trying to stand up for their ideals? You'd have to ask them. I don't know or care what they believe in. We're just getting paid. Okay, so she's just a hit person, I guess. Night butt. <sighs> or rather, we were supposed to, but then you showed up and botched the final step of our plan. The Liberators paid you to get the data? Yes. Deliver it to them. So you pieced that together already. What was on that stick that made it so important? Christ. Thank you. <laughs> no idea. Wait, you don't know either? I thought you had the drive. Wait, you don't have the drive? Didn't you give the drive to the guy? I don't. And I don't think I'll get my hands on it anytime soon. Who has it then if you don't? My superiors. Oh, yeah, okay. If it still exists at all. I think the AG has it. That complicates things. I guess we'll have to move on to plan B right away. Yeah, they took they took his daughter, but he's not the one that they need right now. Since the handover went south, the Liberators refused to pay us. We need that data to get our money after all. This is where you come in. If you figure out what the data is about, we might be able to locate it in the CDI database and extract it. I'll send a private sheet to yourself. Submit it to us once you've found out. I will do no such thing. He said, fuck off. That would be difficult. And hand me your cell for a minute, will you? 
Why? You don't need it to open a sheet. That's for something else. I need to access the CDI network for a moment. Four, four. To set up a backdoor for our hack. Why are you telling me all of this? I could arrest you right here. And, but you won't. And I doubt that you could. I'm telling you this because we work together now. Great, so we didn't have a choice in this. No choices. The better you do your part, the sooner our client pays us, and the sooner you see your daughter again. Fuck. Okay. If you do anything on my cell, they will trace it back to me. Don't worry, I'll use someone else's credentials. Whose? Doesn't matter. Probably Liam's. At least tell me who I'd be throwing under the bus. Oh, Gary. Oh, fuck. No, his job means everything to him. Is that really more important to you than Laura's safety? She's your only bargaining chip. I'll try to find out what the data was about. That's got to count for something. You're definitely not increasing her chances if you don't cooperate now. Use my login. Fuck it. He's the one that wants his door back, so... None of these choices are good choices. You wouldn't want to get yourself in trouble like this. No, you wouldn't want me to get in trouble like this. I'm too important for you. So we agree, it has to be your colleague's credentials. No. Use my credentials or I'm not giving it to you. Fine, but my boss won't be happy about it. This wasn't the plan. We can convince, we managed to convince her to change the plan slightly though, so. I gave you access and I'll tell you all I find out about the data. You let Laura go now, right? That was just the first step. If you keep cooperating, you'll see her again soon. God, this is a lot. Please just let her go. She doesn't have to suffer like this. I'll help you anyway, so you'll leave us alone. No can do. Sorry, it's not my call. Is this really what you want to do with your life? Murder and child abduction? Don't have time for this. Answer my question. How do you live with yourself? You work for the CDI. Don't you kill and abduct people all the time? Yes. Spare me more of relativism crap. You got- No, you are a shit cop, to be fair. He's not a good cop. He's bad at this job. That's mostly me, to be fair. Not mercenary. You kind of are. The CDI is trying to do the right thing. You do whatever the highest bidder tells you to. Well, you chose to work there. You can go work somewhere else. The right thing. What kind of childish nonsense do you believe in? You don't have to believe in anything not to be evil. Says the cop. I like these games, but they are always cop games. I don't believe in anything in particular. Great. And yeah, here you are talking about good and evil. Because we know what that is. We have an intuition for it. No, we kind of made that. No, no. Look, this lizard over here, he's my friend. He has never done anything evil. He can't. Yeah. All animals just do shit for a while and then they die. Look, are you trying to keep me talking? You can't pretend to not care about anything. In fact, I know you do. You were separated from someone you care about. Okay. Because she likes Boy and he betrayed her. The sniper we caught. You care about him, don't you? You wanted to start a new life with him. Because we've read that email. That's none of your business. But it's funny you mentioned him. Thanks to you and your colleagues, I won't ever see him again. Yeah, well, that's because you're a bitch. Okay. Didn't you just tell me it was bad to put people away against their will? My daughter didn't harm anybody. Your friend killed someone and might start a war. <laughs> that part, he has a point. I'll be back with more instructions. Bye, yeet. She just yeeted herself off my balcony. As soon as the woman disappeared into the night, my facade slipped and I nearly collapsed on the balcony floor. I took out my cell with shaking hands and tapped on Laura's face in my contacts. Maybe. Maybe. She didn't pick up. I resisted the urge to call Catherine next. I couldn't just tell her about what had happened. She knocked on my door in the early morning, but I didn't open. I tried to decide on a course of action, but I couldn't concentrate. My mind alternated between trying to remember my last conversation with Laura and conjuring up horrible images of her tied to a chair in some basement. Sometime later, my alarm rang. I got up to go to work, not sure if I was ready to talk to Kat. I must have stood outside her apartment for a few minutes when I finally made a decision. 
Oh, I make the decision? Talk to cat optional. I think we have to at least talk to her a little bit. Yeah. I got this one wrong, which meant I also got this one wrong. We don't know any of this yet. Yeah, there's loads of... We have no idea about any of that yet, I don't think. We need more um, clues and stuff. Data is about the... Oh, God. Gosh. Okay, there's a lot of options in there. Yeah, we'll speak to her. It's fine. We're trying to be nice to her. She's probably, like, shitting her pants, though, because our daughter is missing. When you came to your apartment, I'm really sorry. Yeah, we know what's happened to her. Looks like she never went to the party. What do I do now? Let's just tell her. Fuck it. She won't like it, but she doesn't want to be kept in the dark, so. They took her to blackmail me. Yeah. I'm really sorry. What are you saying? Who took her? I'm not sure yet. It seems like there are a group of mercenaries involved in Banny's murder. That's correct. They promise they won't harm her if I do what they say. Which we are currently doing. How can you do that to us? I didn't. It's not like I allowed them to take her. You have to tell the CDI. Maybe they can find out where she is and get her out of there. It's too risky. I'm afraid of what they'll do if they find out I snitched. Yeah. You think the people who abduct children and murder foreign ministers give a shit about their promises? Hey, Buffy, what's up? How are you? I'm still evaluating the situation. I'll do everything in my power to keep her safe. What do they want from you? They want me to leak information about the case I'm investigating, about the liberators. Please, Kat, trust me with this, okay? I won't let them do anything to me. This is sad. I have to go call you as soon as I hear anything and you do the same, okay? I'll be here all day. Okay. Thanks, Puffy. It is one of my favorites. But yeah, I'm good. How are you doing? How's your Wednesday going? It is Wednesday, right? I keep saying Wednesday. I hope it is actually Wednesday. It is. Uh, I'll put that back on. The outline mode. Can I go back in? I don't think there's any use going back in, but... Oh, can I go out there now? Please call me if you hear anything. I can now go out here. No, I can't go up there. No, okay. Never mind. <laughs> it's Wednesday, my dudes. True. Love the art for this game. Yeah, I really like it. I think it's really cute. Thunderstorm after the graduation ceremony. You had your graduation ceremony. Yay! Awesome. I hope it was fantastic. Yeah. Okay, where the fuck am I going? Oh, I'm going on the train. All right. All right, then. Just in case. I keep doing this and checking to see if anything's here. There are people on the platform that I don't trust. I'm officially out there. Nice. No, brilliant. You must feel so relieved now. You've done it. It's done. You're done. <laughs> okay, back at HQ. There's some news on the news thing. Train. Yeah, that's cool. Put this, oh, he's calling me. Oh, who is this? Oh my god. It's Laura. Why didn't you let them use the login they wanted? I'm fucking this up left, right, and center, am I not? 
Please, Dad, they're gonna hurt me if you don't listen to them. You need to get me out of here. They swear they'll let me go if you do what they ask. I know how important your job is to you. But how bad can the things be that they're asking you? Please, I don't. I want to finish my novel. I'll do what they say. Tell them I'll do what they say. Do you hear me? I'll do I'll do what you say. Just give me some time. And I'll get you what you want. Leave my daughter out of this. I need to go. It's definitely cool. It's weird saying that kind of didn't care about the graduation. No, I think so many people feel like that, honestly, Puffy. When you get to the graduation part, like, it looks like it should be, like, this huge celebration. But you're just like, you're like, I just want to relish in the fact that I'm done. Yeah. It's more for others than my brain. Yeah. And you'll be glad that you, like, went when you look back on it and stuff. But, yeah, I can get how it wasn't, like, the most fun thing after your brain is fried. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't going well. Uh, I want to get this news. Give me the news. Yeah, the news, like, helps you. Kind of. Oh, okay. This is Fanny's murder speak apparently. Oh great, they have something to say now. Yeah. So there's like religious extremists and then like the anti-specific religion extremists, which is like, oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have not confirmed that the people sending the message were in fact involved in the death. Await our next move within 48 hours. It won't be as silent as the first year. We saw that. Yeah, they're, they're like everyone in the, like all the organizations are like extremist either way. So they're like the pro religion like crazies who say you can't do this, you can't do that. And then now there's like extremists against these religious people because they're like religious foreigners or whatever. It is a bit hectic, yeah. The pictures are nice though. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Drained your social battery having a photo taken. Yeah, because you feel like you've got to be like switched on. Yeah. But yeah, you are you all at least... um be happy to have those pictures like in the future though so that's good yeah and you've done the whole ceremony thing now that's out of the way now you can just relax in the fact that you don't have to do any more work <laughs> on it <laughs> hello yes good morning sir you look pale are you sick no our daughter has been kidnapped but we can't tell you that hope you got some rest after yesterday's incident let me bring you up to speed great the chief said he's making some announcements this morning didn't sound good We'll see in a few minutes. We took Cox in for questioning. Okay, yeah, we're, we're managing to actually interrogate people instead of, like, kill them. So that's good. Interrogate him later. First, you should talk to Saito. Okay. He's in our office. And he has some new intel and more on Cox for you. Okay. Might have been a little intense these past few days. These are special circumstances. You understand that, right? Sure, it's been hard on all of us. I'm gonna run. Talk to you later. I mean, there's a reason why I asked no fancy dinner or lunch because I'd be so dead. Yeah, that that's just like too much, too much. So we know, do we know who kidnapped Laura? We do know who kidnapped her. Um, they're like the the mercenaries that are that are like working for the liberators, but they're like contracted people. Uh, the woman who got plastic surgery to pretend to be an escort uh, came to our house a minute ago and said, we've got your daughter. Because they want to get paid by the extremist group. Because we foiled their plan and took the data and she's like, if you want your daughter back, you have to get the data for us because that was our original job and we want to get paid. We only learned that most of that in the last like five minutes. But This is the floor plan. I'm still trying to get stuff from this. Can I go any higher up this time? This is the floor plan again. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's, 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 it's kind of interesting, yeah. There's a lot to it. It's keeping track of who's on what side and why somebody got killed and why somebody else got killed is... Have I been on this level before? I hate that we... Okay, that's a door. I hate that we can't run in investigation mode. I keep saying that, but... That was the floor plan. Oh, I still can't go any higher than this. Can I open this door? No. And you can see uh, here the little yellow things. You can't go past those. Can I run into here? Yeah, we went into here before. I keep trying to look for stuff. Because I know there are clues about this location that I don't have yet. But yeah, you can't use the lifts. And we can't go up that set of stairs yet. Can I grab that news? No, okay. Okay, can I... I keep pressing like a hundred buttons at once. That's the door. Talk to Saito. Where is Saito? Oh, we got some emails. <laughs> there are some realistic emails, which is funny. Some of them might be relevant. I remember the last game where we had emails and one of them had a virus that we had to use. That was fun. The search has been running for 126 days. He's looking for a new apartment. Okay. Is there anyone in here? Oh, there's a dude up there, but I don't think that's Saito, is it? But I can't open that door. That's interesting, because that door should be green if it was openable. Yeah, Monkey Island puzzle-esque. Yeah, Techno Babylon had... Is it Tony Babylon that had that? I've played a few of these games recently, I'll be honest. Saito in here? Yes, I think that's actually him. That's a chair. Because if you want to basically pause the game while you hand in stuff, you sit down. So we have two that we need to, that are ongoing. Wait, hang on. Oops. Uh, clues. So I got everything I could get from the... Oh, that's from that house. And that was... In Cox's... Uh, the security place. Got everything from that. There. There's stuff in HQ I don't have. And there's stuff in the Matuna residences that I don't have either. Hmm. No worries. That's fine. I'm gonna need more coffee though. Soon. Get out of the chair, sir. Yeah, okay, we have to speak to this dude now. Hello. Hi. Yes, you, we believe that you have some new intel. What do you have? For everything on our pinboard over there, let me give you a quick overview. I assembled some basic information on James Moore and his wife. I managed to pull their recent bank statements. Maybe you'll find something useful in there. This will be good. Oh, thanks, Taurus. Fuck the Tories. Cheers. That's all I could get my hands on for now, but I got more coming tomorrow. And third, I took a look at the CV of the guy who fired at you, Albert Cox. Right. Guess what I found? He's a, yeah, okay, he's a religious dude and grew up on the religious colony. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a surprise. I thought he was working with the Liberators. We did think he was working with the Liberators. Well, who knows, he still might. What's also interesting is that he changed his name 20 years ago. Okay, so who was he before that? Ooh. Let's go. I'll tell you the rest on the way. Oh, but I wanted to look at your pin board. I'm not, I'm not walking, by the way. He was born as Albert Bolton. His parents owned a big company at the time, Bolton Security Services. Which is why he now owns his own security services. They're responsible for the safety of the colony on Drovia. Yeah. Savian is the, is the religious uh, group. Is, is the religion. Uh, Drovia is a planet. Uh, you mean Sector 2, the one that blew up 40 years ago, which we had at the start of the game? Bond security was sued into oblivion over the incident and eventually went bankrupt. When Cox had finished school, he changed his name and moved to Gara, which is a different planet. That's when he founded his own security company using some grant money. Thank you. Great work as always. Brilliant. Oh, it's nothing. I just did some advanced browsing. I love to do some advanced browsing. Saito is my new friend. Before we go in, I need to ask, is everything all right? You look not great. <laughs> Ouch. You look like shit, sir. <laughs> 
Oh no, an absolute mad lad. I know. Just didn't get enough sleep lately. Thanks for asking. He said, you look like balls, man. I think everybody's here. Let's start. Yeah, this is a meeting, apparently. Thank you all for coming. As many of you know, I've been working for CDI for 28 years now. Are you retiring, sir? I've done everything in my power to defend the values our planet stands for. Principles of freedom, tolerance, equal rights for everyone, and justice have been guiding all of my actions. I've always been proud of our work and our commitment to the Garian democracy. Sadly, the path to justice isn't always clear and we have to make difficult decisions. The murder of Joseph Fanny has severely harmed the relationship between our planet and Drovia. And it puts the fragile peace in our solar system at risk. The domestic terrorism division was charged with protecting Vanny under my leadership. Oh, so does he have to resign for, like, good faith or whatever? In light of our failure to do so, the Attorney General and I have agreed the only appropriate response is for me to resign from my duties at the CDI, effective immediately. The AG is the woman standing behind him. I hope that the separatist groups on Drovia will consider this a sign of sincere remorse and of our intention to make up for the damage that has been done. I enjoyed working with all of you and I wish you nothing but the best. I hope that each of you will find your way of fighting for justice. I will still be in my office today if there are any open questions or issues you want to talk to me about. My successor will be announced by the Attorney General in the near future. Starting tomorrow, Agent Long will be taking over my responsibilities. That's our friend. Uh, until a permanent replacement is found. Thank you and goodbye. Oh. He compromised a lot of security. So he, basically, the woman who came to our apartment and said, we have your daughter, she had plastic surgery to look, or something on her face to look like uh, one of the escorts. Um, and he sees escorts and she used that to get into like his house and like steal like data on a USB stick or something. Um, yeah. So, that that guy who just resigned, his his habit of uh, seeing sex workers um, got everybody in trouble, basically. <laughs> because he saw one that was not really a real sex worker. She was fake. Unfortunate. Talk to the chief, optional. Oh, where is he? Where is his actual office? Would would help if I... What? Wait, can I go up there? Can I not go up there? Have I broken it? He said I'll be in my office and then I didn't realize where his office was. Actually, Saj, I agree. It was indeed. Yeah, why can't I go up that set of stairs now? There's nothing in my way anymore. Why? Why won't he go up there? Where's the... Hang on. Third floor is the chief. What floor am I on right now? Unit? Yeah, escort steals files. Yeah, fake escort. Oh, that's a door. Yeah, somebody... Is this his office? Yes. Hello. I keep pressing the wrong button. How can I help you? I want to say goodbye. It was good working for you. I have to admit, I'm surprised by your decision. I'm not. It's not like you could have done much more to protect Vanny. Yeah, but it's about saving face, isn't it? Yeah. Heads needed to roll for this and it had to be his. Um, the AG fired you for something else. Why did we arrest Cox? Maybe this one will help? I don't know what either of these are going to help with. Looks like it was the right call. We didn't know at the time. Why didn't you give us the order the arrest order yourself. The AG didn't tell me why she wanted to do it, so I refused to give the order. So you don't know either? Seems like it's classified same as the information on that stick. I see. The AG fired you for something else. 
I overheard your conversation yesterday. Why are you telling me this? It didn't sound like you were arguing about Banny's death. You are aware that you can be suspended for eavesdropping on your superiors. In fact, it seemed like you were suspecting the AG of something. Is that the real reason why she wanted to get rid of you? This one is out of your league. Just respect the chain of command. No, we need answers. Give me answers. <laughs> I see. I have to pack up my things now. Wish you all the best for your career at CDI. Book. You're a smart man. Keep your eyes open. A hint has appeared, I think. Does he have anything else? He just says see you around. Okay. We don't have anything else there. 